Focus on another virus you've been hearing about. You need to know this flu season continues to take a deadly toll with two more deaths just confirmed by the Southern Nevada Health District this week. More than two dozen people have died so far this year from the flu, but an even more striking number is the amount of people who have been hospitalized in our valley. Our Max Darrow joins us live from the Health District with this top story. The Southern Nevada Health District behind us, the folks there have confirmed that more than a thousand people so far this year have found themselves in the hospital with flu related illness. We did catch up with a local ICU director who says this isn't the worst flu season he's seen, but it's definitely close. The doctors at Southern Hills Hospital are finding themselves making a constant diagnosis this year. Every day we see numerous uh, presentations to our emergency department for individuals that are positive for the flu. And in very serious cases, certain flu patients end up in the intensive care unit. Uh, multiple dozens of cases uh, that we have seen uh, this year. ICU Director Dr. Christopher Viscopoulos says when patients with flu-related illness end up there, it's often a matter of life and death. The majority of patients that we have to intervene and try to save their life when they go on the breathing machine, they do come off, but we do have individuals that don't make it. That's definitely not specific to our, you know, our particular hospital. This is something the flu impacts the entire healthcare system in the Las Vegas region, and it impacts us equally. New statistics from the Southern Nevada Health District show there have been 26 flu-related deaths so far this year. That's up from 21 this time last year. As for hospitalizations, 1,106 so far this year. That's up from 528 this time last year. Majority have been over the age of 65. Uh, we have unfortunately seen uh, two pediatric flu deaths as well. Dr. Witt Krauschar is the health district's medical investigator. He says the season started with one strand of the flu being strand B, and now they're seeing a surge of a different one, strand A. Vascopoulos says don't underestimate the flu. The virus itself can be deadly, but more commonly, it can make a person susceptible to life-threatening complications. Your system is just weak to begin with, and you're more vulnerable at that point in time. In addition, if you were to progress to respiratory failure with the flu, you're also at risk of going into other organ failure as well. Back out here live at the health district, both of these doctors say it's not too late to get a flu shot, and that's what they're urging people who haven't gotten it yet to do. They say not only does it help protect you from the flu, potentially, uh, it can also help prevent the spread of the flu elsewhere. And they both acknowledge it's not perfect, it's not 100% effective, but they say it's your best bet. Reporting live tonight, Max Darrow, News 3. Max